the Largo from Dvorak, Symphony No. 9 from the New World. Picture a young man from Erie, Pennsylvania. His musical training came largely from his grandfather teaching him to sing spirituals. He has an exceptional baritone voice. He's been fortunate enough to go to the National Conservatory of Music. In order to support himself, he works as a handyman. As he works, he sings the same spirituals of his youth. This catches the ear of the famous Czech composer Antonin Dvorak, who is teaching there. This leads to the famous Largo and influences Dvorak's music from then on. Meet Harry Burley, born 1866, died 1949. In addition to being a great singer and influence, he was an arranger and composer. By the late 1910s, he was one of America's best-known composers of art songs. Estimates suggest he composed between 200 to 300 songs. He was a lifelong advocate of the spiritual for which he is mainly remembered. Works of his are still in hymnals. However, every time Dvorak's Largo plays, remember his voice is behind it. <laughs>